Third use case, Settlement. Settlement is a company that sells a blockchain platform. A rather complex to explain because first you have to understand blockchain and two, you have to understand the concept of how you can roll this out in a platform. So they asked me at a certain stage, Michael, we, we, we go to the Middle East and we have to, we have to be on a stage and we have to explain to um, uh, project builders, like people that build massive, massive buildings. And, and one of the things is that the big question was, what can you do with the platform and how can we actually make it interesting for them? And I, I started thinking about this and I asked them, I said, so what does this thing then do for them? Well, they said, well, the, 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 um, the way it works is that it will actually be, what you can do is you can get all the assets on the platform and basically monetize the data, which is a very interesting concept. So here we go. So what did I do is you go on the stage and this guy had to speak in between all people that have, would, would, would be doing slides of IoT, you know, the, this uh, internet connected device. And they would always have the same slide, like a big spaghetti. And then you see cars and cities and it's always, it's always the same type of slides. And, and when I know it's always the same type of slides, I want to do something else. I on purpose want to do something else. So the way we've done is we basically have the opening slide. And then, and then I had a black slide with some words in there that said, all IoT slides look alike. I think you know how this works. I would say what's on the mind of the people. I don't know why, but a lot of people don't do that. But I on purpose would say what all these people were thinking. And then I would say, let's talk about buildings. And I would have a pie chart that says, if you look to traditional build, mod, building models, they are actually cost center. Because you spend 20% of your money building the, the thing, but over the next 20 to 25 years, the maintenance cost of such a building is massive. It's, 80%. I, I know it's a simple comparison, 20 to 80, but I need to make an impact. So if we know that, that 80% is maintenance cost, I then need to have cause effect in one slide, meaning I need to visualize this pain so that they really feel it. So I made a graph, a very simplistic graph, like a line, horizontal line, and it says a zero. People are very conscious of the zero. And then I put a big block going down. People don't like to be on the downside. And it said, that's your maintenance cost. And then I knew in the next slide, I need to change this round. So what I did was I renamed the title in the next slide and I call it, how can you move from a cost center to a profit center? How can you monetize that 80% maintenance and at least reduce some of the cost of that? So what I did was I explained this a bit. I put some numbers because if you want them to believe you, you gotta put some numbers there. And then what I did was I took the graph and I reduce. So how can you turn something negative into positive, which is a very difficult thing to do. I basically reduce the maintenance cost and I added an element of that and I put it on top of the zero with an arrow. So it's very clear that it got reduced and it's very clear that it started to bring money. This type of pitch worked, by the way, really, really well. And I also saw because there are a lot of people there that most of the people attendees wanted to talk to them because they really found a way of explaining how to do that. So always keep in mind the lesson here is cause and effect in one slide, make it very tangible, make it, if you can put it in a graph, add some numbers to make it real, and then you gotta feel the hurt. And it's always with the arrow down, arrows up, it's like you, you gotta uh, feel that. Now, small detail, two slides that you've seen in this presentation also contain logos. That's the social proof element. I do not explain on purpose the logos. They're just there as an example. Basically, they're infusing you as the viewer of this presentation that you will in your mind will think or will make the connection by thinking, oh, these companies have done that. Which, if that's true or not, that is something you have to decide. But in this case, it was true.